Uh, Lori, how about at the National 911 uh, uh, program? Uh, I'm sure there's a specific program that you'd love to highlight in regards to um, you know, furthering the mission of the entire emergency communications ecosystem. Well, I think one of the focuses in the recent past is a renewed effort in terms of federal coordination. And that's important because when 911 was first established, there was no way for any of the 911 centers to connect to each other. The technology simply didn't enable that, but now it does. Um, and so it becomes really important for us to be able to interconnect. So we're doing a lot of work, particularly with the federally operated 911 centers, and there are hundreds of them who have sort of been left out of the discussion to make sure that particularly uh, in the Department of Defense and the National Park Service, they're probably the two biggest players, uh, to make sure that we are providing them with the tools that they need and making sure that they have the relationships with the civilian 911 centers. We've also been tapped uh, by, the, by FEMA's uh, COVID task force uh, to be a point of coordination among all the 911 stakeholders for that response. And it has, I think, been invaluable, not only to the federal government in terms of situational awareness, but sharing information and meeting the unmet needs that have been identified by the 911 community.